What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Well, as you saw on some of the clips before we got to this one, I am out here in Terrell, Texas. We are at, uh, at a farm, a ranch, I guess if we could say. And um, we're going to be working on this uh, Ford Expedition today. It is, uh, it's, it's dirty. Well, not that bad though. I think for the factors that we are in we are in gravel and everything the interior is not that bad to be honest so that's a plus um but uh many people have asked me um hey buddy hey where's where's that bear i need it the owner wants his bear back come here this is this is a little dog i found right now i guess it's the owner's and he took the bear <laughs> hey i need that bear go get it all right, I guess he doesn't want to go get it. If the owners see this, he has the bear. Hey, go get the bear. All right, but let me show you guys real quick uh, how this car looks. Let me flip this camera around and we'll get to see it. All right, so the exterior is just going to have a basic wash, guys. Very basic. Um, nothing too crazy. And as you guys can see, the interior, it's not that bad. <laughs> I really, I mean, probably the driver's side looks like it's the most heaviest. The rear, it, it's really, it's not that bad, to be honest. I think the, the worst part of this whole vehicle might be the exterior. Look at that. <laughs> but it'll turn out much better than what it looks now. But I wanted to do this quick video. Somebody had asked me, hey, Carlos, um, how do you set up your extractor? Can we see your, your uh, extractor setup? So, let me uh, show you guys a little bit of how I do it. All right. Let me raise it up. Perfect. So, what I do, guys, is hopefully the camera will catch everything. All right. So, pretty much, guys, uh, how I connect my extractor every time... You know, so I may say that's a lot of work. And yes, guys, it probably is. <laughs> but this is my this has been my setup for the past six years, and I have loved it to be honest. Uh, I have I haven't had no issues. So every time I get here, guys, I will put my my Ryobi pressure washer on top of my water tank. All right, I always leave it on top, and then I'll connect my my hose and everything is on there so what i have guys is pretty much my uh, uh my extractor never comes off the truck very rarely will it come off the truck so what i use is this contact y connector this one is a um, one ac 120 240 volts connector and unfortunately when i bought this new extractor the lx the way that the uh, connections are, it was a little bit trippy. So that was kind of my, the downside about this whole extractor when I saw it, but it does the job. So I ended up zip tying everything really tight. And then I only have enough to connect it to my, to my white connectors. And we just plug it in as is. Next up, I will plug my RV outlet and then to maximize all my outlets I have this one which knocks out two birds in one stone all right and that's it guys and then I'll just move the cords a little bit to the edge and we are set and that is how I plug my extractor all righty so I am going to get started. I'm going to get started to work and we'll see how the end result is for this, uh, for this car, man, you're making me want to take you to my house. No, no, no. It's a nice little dog though. Beautiful dog. You're going to let me work, buddy. Yeah. Hen. What? All right. Me and my buddy, we're going to get to work.
Alrighty guys, well, project has been finished. The expedition is done. Am I happy with how it came out? Interior wise, yes. Exterior wise, it's one of those where, you know, you, you just can do so much for the exterior with the package. Uh, but it turned out real well. Once it's clean guys, it, it, it turned out really nice. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of imperfections still on the exterior, but the interior is pretty much what the customer was more concerned about. So let me bring you guys in real quick and let's check it out. All right, so let's see. Interior wise guys, this is how it turned out really nicely. Got all the grime off the doors. All right. Like I said, there's only so much you can really do with this carpet with the uh, leather the way it was. Uh, I definitely did my very best to make sure the wind is blowing. So as you guys can already imagine, the uh, everything was getting inside this uh, vehicle. So I was trying to make sure I rush, well not rush, but got this done before the wind picked up even more. But overall guys, I honestly believe this uh, vehicle came out real nice. Uh, maybe in the future I'll offer this vehicle a good one step but I think for now a nice interior is just about fits this uh, vehicle so I hope you guys uh, had an amazing day today uh, a blessed day overall uh, I'm pretty much done for the today and time to pack everything up pick everything up and we'll be out of here so you guys have a blessed and amazing day and we'll see you guys on the next one